Hey guys, it's Hans Hobbies, and I have a pretty special video for you guys today. Um, I never expected to, but apparently I've surpassed 100 subscribers already. Like at the time of this filming, I have 112 subscribers, which is pretty amazing. And even more amazing considering that it, it I got almost more than double my subscribers in half the time it took me to get 50. So that's pretty exciting and pretty amazing. So... Thank you guys so much for that. Uh, I'll continue making videos. I really enjoy making them. I really love this hobby. And my Gundam hobby and all the other hobbies I have, I just really enjoy them. Really keeps me sane and keeps me happy. And being like a productive member of society, I guess. And even like, like especially right now with all the quarantine stuff happening, it's definitely helping me keep busy and keeping my mind from uh, going off to dark places. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, people have been enjoying my new review video format, so I'll continue doing those. Uh, I've started to experiment with some other like videos. Like I, I posted a little running video film with my crawler, like trail truck. So if you guys enjoy that, I'll make more of those videos. I enjoyed making those videos. So I'll probably start making those anyway. But yeah, thank you guys. Um, so what we have on the table today is also pretty special. Is This is my Tamiya MO2L that I got in 8th grade. This was my third ever hobby grade RC car that I ever got. It's also my second ever Tamiya I ever got. And my oldest surviving RC car at the moment. Um, I do still technically have my Tamiya uh, Traxxas Stampede, my first ever car. But that thing's in pieces, desperate need of restoration and... I have I have so many cars now. Like there's so many other cars that require my more immediate attention. So that's why that that thing's been just sitting in pieces for about uh, five or three, four four or five years or so. Um, it hasn't run in a while, but that's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll get around to it eventually. It's not on my like immediate like top priority right now. But I did decide to restore this because this is a car I really enjoy and really like driving. But unfortunately, I only got to drive it for about a day. Yeah, I, I only got to drive it maybe two days after I built it because um, I saw this really, really fun RC, uh, like running video of this guy running his MO2 Be Beetle like a rally car. And I thought that was really cool. So I just decided to run it on some dusty... Uh, dusty dirt surface not even like really off-road terrain just like a flat dusty surface but some for some reason the transmission didn't like that and it i guess uh re retrospectively looking at from my more experienced hobby self uh, hob hobbyist self uh what i what i assume happened was the dust and stuff wore out the plastic bushings really quickly and also got in all the gears and that's what eventually stripped out the gears so the transmission got alone uh just a, a couple days after I, I i built it so unfortunately it, this thing sat on my in my garage shelf for about 10 years just because i couldn't find parts for it um but recently a lot of mo2 parts have shown up so i was able to get a brand new new old stock transmission gears for this thing so i decided to restore the chassis and when i got the chassis running i decided i need a new body for it because I had long stolen the body off of the Beetle uh, for my Stampede. So that body was all smashed up. So I needed a new body for it. So this body, the original body was white. I was going to make it a Herbie theme, but that never came into fruition. So I decided to paint this new body, which is um, off my uh, MF01X chassis Beetle. I bought that to use the chassis for something else and to use the body for this. And I decided to paint this body this color because my best friend, also for around 10 years, decided, oh, I think it's been a little bit over 10 years, but nevertheless, um, he decided when he went on a trip with his fiance, he went to a little car museum and he saw this little Volkswagen Beetle here at the gift shop and he thought of me and he knew I loved Volkswagen Beetles. And I loved this color scheme and all that. So and this color and all that. So he decided to buy me this little beetle. This little pullback beetle. It's really cute. I, I really love this thing. 
and I, I got this, and I thought it was so sweet, and I, I, I thought it was cool that he thought of me. So when I decided to restore my special little big beetle, or bigger beetle, um, I would paint it just like the little one. And funny enough, not a couple of days after I finished restoring this, I also found this one um, at a CVS. So now I have these three just kind of sit in my display case um, for most of its most of its time in my possession currently. Though it's not completely a shelf queen. If you take the body off. Uh, this thing's definitely been run, obviously not only when I originally got it, but since then it's also been run. Uh, I am missing the front bumper still for it. I don't know where that went. So, And the I didn't realize that the bumper was missing and I ended up breaking this right here. So it might need a new front clip eventually, a new front bumper. But for right now, it's, it's serving its purpose pr pretty well. And if you guys haven't seen a Tamiya MO2 before... Um, originally, this thing came with a mechanical speed control, which back back when I got it, I, di I didn't even realize that's what that was. But yeah, it, it's supposed to come with a mechanical speed control, but I put this older Tamiya ESC in it. I put uh, whatever servo in it, running it on the stock silver cam motor that I got with it. The tires are still stock. Uh, this, the tires on this are pretty special, actually, because... Um, it comes with these really sticky, softer S-grip compound tires in the rear because it is rear-wheel drive, obviously. And it comes with the regular M-series uh, tires in the front, so these are pretty pretty stiff. But yeah, these these tires help it really grip and really help it like whip around. And this the the main thing that really drew me to this chassis was the suspension setup. It's got this weird suspension setup that I thought was super cool. Um, obviously it's not the best for performance. It has a lot of body roll, but I think that adds the charm of it being a beetle. So I don't really mind. And it's just overall pretty unique and pretty cool design. So that's what mainly drew me to this car. But also the beetle body is just amazing. I, I love beetles. Yeah, there's not really much to say about this car. A lot of people have seen this, and it's a pretty simple chassis. It's got this little front clip here, and then just bolt it onto the square chassis. You can tell it's a pretty old, pretty old chassis just by its pretty rudimentary design. Um, the unlike the modern, there's a bunch of dirt just came out of it because, like I said, it's not a complete shelf queen. But unlike the modern M chassis cars, it doesn't use those like what I call corporate uh, chassis parts. It uses proprietary and unique A arms, so it's not gonna work with like the regular M chassis uh, suspension. I think it's starting from the M04. They started using the the modern suspension parts and stuff, the modern Tamiya parts. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's that's what I'm as far as I'm aware. That's what it is. You can see in the bottom here is also proof that it's not a complete shelf queen it's got lots of scratches on here it is pretty low and being on um, friction shocks it does bottom out quite often uh, this body you can see I, I do have some of the rally beetle stickers on it but overall I think the body turned out really well I love this to me a metallic blue paint um, there's parts of it that definitely aren't perfect. You can see even now some of the stickers are already missing, especially like the rounded light stickers. I was never a fan of these rounded stickers. Um, and the not only the stickers, but the paint job isn't the greatest. I've since improved my painting skills, I, I, I'd like to think. So eventually when it deserves... Oh, it's the wrong hole. That's what she said. Yeah. Um, Eventually, when it's deserving of a uh, second restoration, I'll probably restore it again. This is this body doesn't make me feel too bad for running it, so um, and I think it looks good enough. But yeah, I have all the mirrors on it, all the little nice bits. It's pretty pretty neat car, pretty special car. I am thinking about picking up uh, another Mo2. Uh, the Honda S800, since I am now more of a Honda fan than I am a Volkswagen fan. I used to be a huge Volkswagen fan when I was younger, but now I'm more of a Honda fan. And I never even knew that what other bodies this thing came with. And this thing used to come with some cool bodies, like 
the Honda S800. Um, there's like some Porsche Boxers and stuff. There's even like modern Beetles and stuff, like new Beetles that they had. A bunch of cool bodies. So I have an S800 in my eBay watch list right now. So I might end up picking that up at some point. And there's also a lot of people trying to get rid of their old MO2s. So part support has been a little bit easier. So I might end up buying up some of those parts to keep this thing running for a little bit longer. So yeah, uh, this is my, this is my only other M chassis car other than my MO, MO1X, MFO1X. So yeah, I, I have had a couple MO5s, but I never end up keeping those. But yeah, I really like driving it. But instead of just keep talking about how much I love driving it. I'm gonna go find a receiver for it and let's go see how this thing actually still drives. All right, so we're outside. I'm running on a six cell, 2000 milliamp nickel metal hydride battery just cause I thought that'd be more period correct for this thing. So let's see how it runs. So this thing is a lot more, it's still really fast and really quick, even with just the 2000 milliamp battery. Honestly, a little bit more quicker than, a little quicker than I would be comfortable with this thing going. Seeing how it is kind of a vintage chassis. it does on some of this brick surface. So it seems to do okay on this bump, bumpier surface. Because of the suspension design, I think, you can't even really tell that this thing is running on friction shocks. It runs really smooth. I don't think it'd be too hard to make this thing go even faster because this is 2000 milliamp nickel metal hydride 6 cell. I wonder how fast it'd be on like a 2 cell lipo or something then. Not that a 2 cell lipo would really fit in here unless you use one of those shorty packs because the battery tray is meant for a nickel metal hydride pack. It won't really fit anything else. This thing is still so much fun to drive. And I definitely don't regret ever getting this thing. This thing will continue to get restored and occasionally driven like this because I just really like this. It's just a really fun card. Definitely fits the body shell that it has. The way the, way the body rolls like that and how zippy it is, it just feels like Kirby. It just feels like a beetle. So now, now that I've taken this thing back out, I'm really keen on picking up that uh, Honda S800 MO2. I think that that thing would be not only look really cool, also, but also just drive fantastic. So, thank you guys for watching this quick little video. Um, again, thank you guys so much for subscribing, getting me to that hundred subscriber mark. Uh, 200, 300, 400, like. The possibilities are endless at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna continue to make videos, and whoever comes watch watching, uh, thank you guys. And subscribe, comment down below, like all that things, all the things that you guys have been so greatly doing for me. And I'll see you guys next time.